All of you Spanish speakers out there know that Cascada means waterfall. And faithful viewers of our show also know that one of the world's most successful dance acts is also called Cascada. Their disco beats have earned them double platinum in the US and Britain and helped them sell hundreds of thousands of CDs in France, Japan and even South Africa. We met up with Cascada on their tour of England. Friday night is Disco Night in Manchester, where 4,000 Cascada fans have turned up to hear Britain's number one dance acts. We have managed to bring dance music to a commercial level as well, which did go away for quite a while. Tell me, what do you want from me? This is love in the first German British singer Natalie Haller is the voice and face of Cascada. Behind the scenes, producers Manuel Reuter and Jan Pfeiffer fine tune Cascada's sound. The trio was founded in 2002 in the western German city of Bonn. Their first single, Miracle, was a hit in Britain, but only made it to number 32 in the German charts. Two years ago, their cover version of the Mike Oldfield Maggie Riley song, Every Time We Touch, hit the international charts. One year later, they won the World Music Award in Monaco for most successful German act. Um, this is the first time for us here, so this is a huge honour. The biggest surprise came when they made a splash in the US. That's cool. It's really weird. We, normally we shouldn't be successful in the States because it's just so dominated by hip-hop and R&B and, and alternative bands, rock bands and stuff. But um, for some reason, every time we touch, really touched a nerve for some reason and all the kids loved it, turned into this summer hit and I don't know, everyone, everyone really likes it so that gave us a big, a big boost. But the UK remains Cascada country. Natalie Haller and her dancers are already on their third tour of the British Isles. Back in Manchester, fans don't seem to mind the freezing temperatures. They've spent hours waiting outside the Apollo Theatre. Meanwhile, Natalie is smuggled through to the stage door without stopping to chat to fans, but they love her anyway. She recreates old songs and makes them like air out. Already yeah. classics and makes them more like yeah, the clubs and stuff. God. Makes them more dancey so you can dance to them rather than just like sitting there like listening to them. You know? The sound check is the last chance to work out final details of the stage show. Music is only half of what makes up a Cascada gig. Cascada write most of their songs, but their hits have all been covers. That's led some critics to say Cascada's only talent is stealing songs. We do, do we have done a few cover songs, but so have many artists, you know. I think, I think while we get that, while we hear that a lot, is because um, there's um, quite a few singles were actually the ones that we released were covers, and that's, I think that's probably the reason, but we've, you know, most of our songs are not covers, so. And people often say, oh, it's not real music, or it's just music for kids, or... I even heard the expression once, it's Disney pop. A few seconds before the show starts, the concert hall is already cooking. The fans are geared up for a 90-minute show, and so is Natalie Haller. Hall is transformed into a giant disco. Fans will soon be turning their own living rooms into dance floors when Cascada releases their third album next year. That was Cascada from Bonn in Western Germany.